This is the Marketing Podcast Network. Want Instagrammers and YouTubers to mention your brand? Or do you want to influence an audience to buy your product? I'm Jason Falls, author of the book, Winfluence, reframing influencer marketing to ignite your brand. In this podcast, we explore the people, companies, campaigns, and stories that illustrate the difference between using influencers and actually influencing. Welcome to Winfluence, the influence marketing podcast. Hello again, friends. Thanks for listening to Winfluence, the influence marketing podcast. Influencer marketing done right can be quite the task for a marketer or even a marketing team. It takes time and thoughtfulness to select, engage, manage, execute, and measure influence marketing campaigns, just like it does for any other type of marketing. For many businesses, influencer marketing is just a small piece of their overall marketing puzzle, so they need help. Enter the influencer consultant. But what exactly does an influencer consultant do, and how much do they charge? Ask 100 people in the industry those questions, and you're liable to receive 100 different answers. That's largely because each consultant is different, and even the role of a consultant is vague. I've been hired as a social media consultant before, but performed tasks that would be better defined as public relations, digital marketing, or just marketing. Inevitably, I employ a wide range of experiences to just help clients move their business forward, so putting one discipline's label on it is misleading. The same can be said for an influencer consultant, too. The inference is they'll handle your influencer marketing. They may, but depending upon the consultant, they may only handle parts of the process, or they may have a wide breadth of knowledge and experience and also help you with creative ideas, public relations, social media, and beyond. In my current role at Cornette, I serve as the chief influence strategist, a type of consultant to our clients. I also advise and refer others to influencer consultants if Cornette is not a good fit. It's my job to know what an influencer consultant does. Today on the podcast, I'll spell it out in as much detail as will fit into a 10 to 15 minute show so that you can understand whether you need one or what type of influencer consultant is better for your business. Before we get to the details, it's time to learn a bit more from Tagger, our presenting sponsor. It is a complete influencer marketing software suite that allows you to find, connect, and collaborate with influencers, execute campaigns, and measure success. I'll explain more about how software fits into the influencer consultant mix in the episode today, but want to visit with one of Tagger's clients to hear more about the platform and how it helps their business. In keeping with the theme, we chatted not long ago with Meredith Jacobson, an influencer consultant about how she uses Tagger. How granular can you get with these searches? I mean, I've done plenty and I think I know the answer, but how how deep do you go when you're trying to find the right influencer? Being able to search by location, search by demographic, search within a certain follower range, You know, follower range is only good for so many things. Um, But I think when it comes to search, it's a really good way to capture, okay, someone who has 150,000 followers or more on Instagram is a very different search than someone who has 150,000 or more on Instagram and 150,000 more or more on YouTube. And being able to see both of those and set those ranges and just kind of have an understanding of where a creator has been creating for for years, like whether they have legacy on one platform or another. Um, I think that that's a really powerful insight. And then drilling it down further using the using the keywords, using the categories. One of the most specific searches that I've done using Tagger is that I needed a foodie and a spirits aficionado, and it needed to be a micro influencer who's charismatic. And I found him. I found him with Tagger, and he was like everything I dreamed of as an influencer. And he just appeared in my tagger search. I ended up reaching out to him, getting connected, finding his rep, working out the deal. And we got him for the show that I was casting. And it, I mean, I never would have found him without tagger. And for the record, she's not talking about me. (laughs) Thanks to Meredith at We Are Boosters for sharing her use of tagger. To learn more and get a demo to see if tagger is right for you, just visit jason.online slash tagger today. That's jason.online slash tagger. What does an influencer consultant do? And do you need one? That's next on Winfluence. Hey, how were your sales last month? If they weren't where you thought they should be, it might be because your copy needs a little amping up. 
Join me for the Copy Arena over on the Marketing Podcast Network each week where I jam on persuasion techniques and emotion-driven copy that help you get more of the yeses so your sales and your copy don't suck. You can subscribe over at tanyadaka.com. That's T-A-N-I-A-D-A-K-K-A.com or wherever you get your podcasts. So you think you need help with your influencer marketing. Do you buy software to make your own work easier? Do you hire an agency to handle it for you? Or do you find a happy medium and hire an influencer consultant? Software is one way, but that implies you'll need someone to use it. Tagger, which is what I use, makes my job as an influencer consultant within an agency a lot easier, but it doesn't do the work by itself. I and my team have to know how to use it and log in every day to do the work. It's good for you to have software or access to your consultant or agency software so you can look things up on the fly, check in on campaign progress and such, but unless you have the dedicated time to use the software, that alone isn't going to help. Some influencer software companies have managed services. You may have access to the software, but you pay them additional fees to take an influence campaign brief, just like a creative brief for an ad campaign, only customized to answer questions relevant to influencers. And they go find, engage, execute, and measure everything for you. You can have as much or as little oversight, approvals, and involvement as you like. But managed services are costly. A good influencer marketing campaign might run you anywhere from ten dollars to $150,000, depending upon the scope of what you hope to achieve. The good news is that cost typically includes fees for the influencers. So it's all in per campaign. But if you're doing a campaign per quarter, now your budget is sitting at forty, eighty, dollars or even $250,000 or so for the year. Then there are influencer marketing agencies. They operate much like the managed services of a software company, but aren't tied to one software platform or approach. They function much like PR agencies in that they handle everything related to influencer marketing from strategy to execution and everything in between. Some will work on a project or campaign basis. Smaller agencies may charge as low as five dollars to $10,000 for a small campaign. But you're still looking at ten dollars to $150,000 a shot, depending upon the scope, and maybe hundreds of thousands of dollars in annual fees. Again, all-in pricing, but still not cheap. Agencies like Cornette, where I lead our influencer marketing work, often handle one-off influencer marketing projects. But their work is typically in service to a client that is using the agency for far more than just influencer marketing. Influencers are one piece of a bigger puzzle. We advise all of our clients on influence marketing. We proactively take them influencer campaign ideas, but also develop influencer marketing strategies that ladder up and complement the overall marketing campaigns they execute too. For the small or medium business, that leaves you with a few choices. Doing it yourself finding a small agency that specializes in influencer marketing, or hiring an influencer consultant. So what does an influencer consultant do? As we mentioned earlier, it depends on the consultant, but here's what you can ask for and expect from them. First, they should provide some level of influencer marketing strategy. That implies they get to know your brand, understand your overall marketing efforts, your target audience, your marketing goals, and the like. They then bring you a plan for engaging influencers that adds to your overall marketing strategy and helps you accomplish more. Now, some businesses will serve this strategy role, and the consultant is just there to execute on it. If you feel comfortable developing the direction yourself, look for a consultant that is able to execute, but do listen to their recommendations on the higher-level stuff. If they do this every day, their experience will be valuable. From the strategy phase, the consultant will then identify and prioritize the influencers to approach for influencer engagements. That could be a list of 300 micro-influencers who will post something in exchange for product. It could be two influencers to engage over the course of a year to collaborate with on content. And if they are aligned with my approach of influence marketing without the R and encompassing offline influence too, They may recommend a combination of online influencer targets plus offline or community influencers and ways to engage them. The recommendations will be based on your goals and overall strategy. Once you are aligned with the influencer lists and prioritization, the influencer consultant handles the time-intensive work of reaching out to the influencer, inviting them to participate, 
briefing them on your brand and product, outlining the ask and getting them to agree to deliverables and timelines, settling on a budget and payment details, and delivering assets that you've provided to help the influencer execute the ask. Sometimes the influencer consultant partners with you to create the assets too. As the campaign moves to execution, the influencer consultant manages communications with the influencers, answers their questions, reviews content on your behalf, or sends it to you for feedback or approval, and coordinates when each will post, the links and hashtags they'll use, and so on. After the execution, the influencer consultant gathers the posts and analytics and prepares a report, if they haven't already built a dynamic one you can monitor throughout the campaign. That way, you can gauge success and know which influencers to keep using and which may not be as effective for you. They then work with you and the influencers to come up with what's next in continuing to build engagement and relationships with the influencers' audiences. If you've engaged the influencers to collect content your brand can use, the influencer consultant is often in charge of building the content repository, connecting your creative or social team to it, and ensuring everyone understands the licensing and guidelines for what can be used in what context. When the brand needs information from or to disseminate information to a given influencer, the consultant is the liaison. Smart brands will have the influencer consultant at the table for most or all of the overall marketing planning. They'll be integrated with any agencies, other consultants, and internal staff involved. It's always better to have the whole team on the same page so that every touch point with your target audience is orchestrated to move them closer to the action you wish them to take. So, if you hire an influencer consultant to do all that, you can typically rest easy that your influencer marketing needs are being minded by an extension of your team, so you don't have to worry about that element of your marketing anymore. Now, how much do influencer consultants cost? Again, that is going to vary. Most will charge an hourly rate for the time they put into your brand's efforts. Seasoned influencer marketing consultants typically cost anywhere from $50 to $150 per hour. You can find more costly ones that bring more experience with strategy, the elite levels of influencer engagement, and the like. I'm sure you can find someone on Fiverr for 12 bucks an hour, too. With all due respect to those consultants, you often get what you pay for. Whether you're hiring an influencer consultant, an influencer agency, an agency that also offers influencer marketing, a managed service, or just buying software, ask yourself these questions to know which to choose for your brand. First, how much of my weekly time do I have to spend focused on influencer marketing campaigns and management? Next. If I need help, can I afford a single person at a reasonable hourly rate, or can I invest more in a team of specialists to manage it all for me? For those I'm asking to help, what kind of experience with influencers do they have? What kind of software do they use to discover and prioritize influencers? What kind of success can they show from previous work? And finally, do I feel like they will invest in me as much as I do in them? Those answers will help you make the right decision. If you need to chat about your specific needs and situation, don't hesitate to reach out. If I and Cornette aren't the right fit for you, I'm committed to helping you find someone who is. You can always email me at jason at jasonfalls.com. Speaking of which, I want to hear from you. Have a tip for anyone about hiring the right people to help with your influence marketing? Record a voice memo and email it, or just email me a regular email message with your thoughts on that to jason at jasonfalls.com. I may use your comments on a future episode. Have a different question or topic related to influence or influence marketing you'd like my take on? Inspire an episode by emailing me at that same address, jason at jasonfalls.com. I may use your question as a show topic. If I do, I'll send you a signed copy of Winfluence the book as a thank you. Winfluence, the influence marketing podcast is presented by my book, Winfluence, reframing influencer marketing to ignite your brand. Get your copy online at winfluencebook.com. While you're there, sign up for the latest ideas about influence marketing delivered in my monthly newsletter or book me to speak to your company or organization about influence marketing. If you or someone you know is an influencer, a brand manager that uses influence marketing, or one of the many amazing people working in the influence marketing services world, and they would make a good guest for the show, email me at jason at jasonfalls.com. Our theme music is One More Look by the K-Club and Grammy Award-winning producer Jaquire King. Thanks for listening, and remember, when it's not about the person, but about results, it's Winfluence.
This podcast is heard along the Marketing Podcast Network. For more great marketing podcasts, visit marketing podcast.